Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwarya Saxena and today in this particular video I am going to discuss about the life cycle of cloud computing solutions. In the previous session I discussed about the AWS services that is the Amazon web service and I hope you have watched that video. So let's start about the life cycle of cloud computing solutions. The very first thing in the life cycle of a solution or a cloud solution is to get a proper understanding of the requirements. I didn't say get the requirement but said get a proper understanding of the requirement. It is very vital because only then we will be able to properly pick up the right service offered by the provider. Getting a sound understanding is the next thing would be to define the hardware meaning choose the compute service that will provide the right support when you can resize the compute capacity in the cloud to run application programs. Getting a sound understanding of the requirements help in picking the right hardware. Uh, one size hardware uh, does not fit to all. So there are different services uh, like you can say and hardwares for the different needs you might have like EC2 if you are looking for and uh, is a Lambda if you are looking for serverless computing, ECS that provides container rest service. So there are a lot of hardware is available. Pick the right hardware that suits your requirement. The third thing is to define the storage. Choose the appropriate storage service where you can back up your data and a separate storage service where you can archive your data locally within the cloud or from the internet and choose the appropriate storage that is uh, one separately uh, there for backup called S3 and there is one separately for archival that is the glacier. So you know uh, the knowing of the difference uh, between them really helps in picking the right service for the right kind of need. Then define the network that securely delivers data, video and applications. Uh, define uh, like you can say and identify the network service properly. For example, VPC for network, uh, route 53 for DNS and direct connection for private peer-to-peer -peer line from your office to the AWS data center and all. Then it comes to define security. So set up the right security services like uh, IAM, IAM for authentication and authorization and KM KMS for data encryption at rest so there are a variety of security products available we got to pick the right one that suits our need and there are a variety of uh, deployment and automation monitoring tools that you can pick from for example cloudwatch is for monitoring auto scaling is for being elastic cloud format formation is to define the management process and tools you can have complete control of the cloud environment. If you define the management tools which monitors uh, your AWS resources and are the custom application running on the AWS platform, there are variety of deploy uh, like deployment, automation and monitor monitoring tools you can pick from like CloudWatch from mon for monitoring, auto scaling or automation and the cloud formation for deployment. So knowing them will help you in defining the life cycle of the cloud computing solutions properly. And similarly, there are a lot of tools for testing the process like code star a code and code build and code pipeline. These are the tools uh, which you can uh, build a test and deploy your code quickly, simply with the help of these models. And finally, once everything is set and done, click the analytics services for analyzing and visualizing the data using the analytics services where we can start querying the data instantly and get the result. Now, if you want to visualize, uh, like you, uh, like uh, uh, like visually view the happenings in your environment, you can pick at Atena, and uh, other tools for analytics are EMR, and which is Elastic Map Reduce, and there uh, are Cloud Search also. Now, uh, when we talk about utility computing, so what com uh, like uh, cloud computing is today, so you can uh, like understand about the ability. Uh, is to for, for you to access IT infrastructure which is compute storage uh, like uh, database load balancers networking on demand pay as you go uniform like there are many uh, utilities of the cloud computing 
It takes away the hard work from providing IT infrastructure and making it available to you wherever you need. So now we will be discussing about the AWS in detail in very depth. So stay tuned. The next video will be consisting a lot amount of information on the AWS. See you in the next video. Subscribe the channel.